It's a bird, it's a plane, it's a UFO. Even Chase Doak didn't know the image he captured this week in Billings, Montana was a Chinese spy balloon. His video showing the moon and the mysterious white object is now a fixture on television, social media, and whatever newspapers still print front pages. Chase is with us now. Uh, you first saw this thing. What did you think it was? Honestly, I had no idea what it was, but um, when I spotted it out of the corner of my eye, I thought that maybe it was a star or a planet, but it was broad daylight. And when I locked eyes on it, it was just far too big to be a star or a planet. Um, it was perfectly round in the sky from my vantage point. Um, what did you, you, know you use to take the picture? I, uh, so the, the pictures that have been circulating, I used a uh, professional camera. Um, I'm a former photojournalist, um, so I, I had the equipment that I needed. Um, I originally spotted it while I was at work, and I rushed home and, and grabbed my, my big lens to get the photos and video that have been circulating. So. I hasten to say that this is the most famous photograph you've ever taken? Correct. <laughs> I, <laughs> There's anything I, that's come anywhere close to it. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can imagine. Well, congr congratulations. Um, when you when you got it on your camera and you, you took a picture of it and you, you put it on social media and everything else, you then hear from the Defense Department, hey, we're afraid of shooting it down because of all the damage it's going to cause throughout Montana. You, you live in Montana. Is there a lot for it to really hit if it falls down, if we shoot it down? I mean, it really depends on where it's at. Uh, Billings, of course, is the most populous city in the state, so we do have quite a few people here. It's not a big city by any means, but uh, there's about 120, 125,000 people in our area. Um, so there, there are definitely hazards. Um, there's a lot of open space in the eastern part of the state, but I, I can understand why they wouldn't want to shoot it down. Um, I certainly wouldn't agree with just shooting it out of the sky because I think we need to figure out what it was and uh, recover it as intact as possible and as safely as possible. Yeah, for, for sure. Just folks around folks around Billings, you told about this in the beginning when you said, hey, look at this thing. Was, any, was anybody really that scared of it until they heard from the government what it was? I don't know if everyone was all that scared of it. Everybody I pointed it out to um, was just kind of jokingly saying, you know, this may be an alien invasion or something like that. <laughs> I don't think any of us really felt imminently threatened by it, and I certainly didn't. Yeah. Um, I was really excited to be seeing something out of the ordinary. Um, I love my hometown, but it can be a quiet, uh, not that not, exciting. Not a, there's not a lot of news coming out of Billings, right. Montana, um, mo most days. All right. Hey, Chase, congratulations. Thanks for being with us. Glad you got yeah, the thank picture. You. Yeah, great job. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.